Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Gumbaje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. I love to hear from you. Send in your prayer requests, questions, and testimonies to the address on the screen. Amen. Today we're looking at the light of God that is in love, the love of God. You know, God is light. 1 John 1 and verse 5. And God is love. 1 John 4 and verse 8. God is love. God is light. The same God who is light is love. The same God who is love is light. That tells you that there's no way you can walk in the light of God without walking in the love of God. In fact, the light of God, which is the revelation of God and the way things ought to be, is in love. For God is love. Amen. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 9. We're reading to verse 11. And I want you to listen with rapt attention. This is very profound. He that saith he is in the light, and he that his brother is in darkness even until now. Now it tells us that there's no way you can say you, um, in the, you are in the light and then you're walking in hatred. They don't go together. Light and love, all right, are compatible. Hatred and light are incompatible. Praise God. So he says in verse 10, He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. So you see, love keeps you within the domain, the circumference of light. Because God is light and he is love too. Praise God. So he that loveth his brother abideth in the light. And there is no occasion of stumbling in him. That means the light of God is shining in him. And so he cannot stumble. He can see his way through life. Praise God. And that's the kind of life God has designed for you to live. All right? Not to grow, grow up in darkness and um, you, you don't even know what to do anymore. You're confused. God wants you to see your way through life. And he wants to shine the light on your path so you can take steps according to his plan for you. Amen. Verse 11 tells us, it says, But he that hateth his brother is in darkness. You see that? How hatred brings into darkness and how love brings into light. Praise God. And walketh in darkness. That means hatred here motivates a walk in darkness. Love motivates a walk in the light. And knoweth not whither he goeth, he's confused. He can't see the end from the beginning. He's myopic. He's short-sighted. Because that darkness had blinded his eye. You see, darkness blindfolds. It limits your capacity. And that's what hatred does. And that's why it's important to forgive and let go. Amen. Do not allow malice. Do not allow bitterness in your heart towards anyone. Let go freely from your heart. And let your heart begin to swell with the love of God. All right. Walk in the light of God's love. Praise God. Because love is light indeed. Amen. Love is light indeed. That's the practical way to walk in the light of God. There's a connection between the mercy, the love, the grace of God and his light. And that's why when we minister to the poor in love, he says our light shall break forth as the morning. You can see how light and the ministry of love are interconnected. Praise God. See, beloved, walk in the love of God and stay within the domain of love and stay within the domain of light. And you see that your prominence will be visible unto all. You will live on the mountaintop the rest of your life and you shine the light of God's grace and glory for the whole world to see. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the love of God. I love you and God bless you.